What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me Kaz and we're bringing you more Infinite Magic Red content. Now before we get into this video on Taff, please do click like, subscribe and comment below to let me know what you think of Taff as well. So we're going to get into the video, we're going to talk about the exclusives, emblems, auras and skills. I'm going to do a little showcase on him. Obviously we can't forget the gear as well and how is best to equip him. So first things first on Taff, his basic attack Toxic Thorns deals 180% attack damage to a single enemy with a 30% chance to inflict one layer of poison for two turns and with a 30% chance to inflict deep poisoning for two turns. This is very nice having a deep poisoning because it means that the enemy takes 25% more poison damage from all poisons on them. So that's like, you know, that's that's kind of vital in a poison team to have deep poisoning as well. Otherwise you're missing out on a ton of damage. His active skill is grant all allies heal for two turns and cleanses three layers of damage over time debuffs which as well is a very, very nice feature, you know, because it means that certain certain areas, we don't need to, to bring a cleanser because we already have it. We already have, uh, say, bleed, poison, health burn, burn, cleanse with Taff with us. So it opens up more, more options. Um, Spirit of Life passive um, inflicts a layer of poison on all enemies at the beginning of each wave for two turns. Meanwhile, Taff deals 30% more poison damage. Now this is nice. This is nice because obviously, as soon as we come into the come into the wave, enemies have one layer of poison on them, um, and then you're going to get it on the next uh, the next turn as well. Obviously, it only lasts two turns um, for each wave, so bear that in mind as well. And his final active skill, Wrath of Nature, deals 100% attack damage to all enemies and inflicts intertwined and one layer of poison on them for two turns. Now, intertwined is a really nice... It, it's, it did have enough. He did have enough because previous global intertwined would cause a stun immediately after their turn. Uh, so it'd only be one turn stun, but now it's after two turns they become stunned. So it's not quite as good as it was, but Taff is an amazing hero. Um, so we do 100% attack damage to all enemies, inflicts intertwine, and then another layer of poison on them. Now this does increase up to 160, and it's a four turn cooldown. So Taff does have a really nice way of stacking poisons on AoE heroes. And then if we're on a boss, we're getting this basic attack of deep poisoning as well. So it's a nice added feature. Along with that, we're getting heals and we're getting a cleanse as well. Remember, it's 5% uh, of the maximum health each time for each action. So uh, it's not like it's a massive heal, okay? But it's something. It's something and it's a cleanse as well. And his exclusives, level 1, he resets the duration of all damage over time in debuffs. That is a huge one for Taft. This level 1 is is insanely good. Um, you know, we all know how resetting the duration of, of damage over time debuffs is helpful. It means we don't need to land them and over and over again. At level 2, the intertwined targets will be additionally inflicted with severe wound for two turns. This is a very nice exclusive as well because severe wound can really help stopping enemies heal up. And level 3 increases the poison damage dealt by Taff by 50%. This is a really big one. 50% damage to his poison is a lot. But there are multiple ways of building Taff. We can build him as like a support um, in, in a sense that we make him with a lot of health so he can withstand more damage kind of thing. Or we can go down the route of attack, increasing that attack so we're dealing more poison damage. I like to go in the medium. I like to go in the medium so he's got... He's got health, he's got attack and speed. Uh, let's have a little look at his emblems. These are the emblems. Um, so you can go ahead and snip this now if you wish. And we're done. And then we're going to move on just to talk about it. Now I go attack and support tree. The reason I go attack is because obviously we get this 6% increase to his attack. And his poison is scaled off of attack. Um, we get more damage when he's got full health. Uh, damage dealt, damage taken is increased. Um, self dot increase, uh, damage over time debuff dot damage increase, and again, uh, damage over time increase. Here we have the mastery bonus. Obviously, everyone loves mastery for damage over time because it, it multiplies our uh, damage. Um, so this is the route I take for my Taff. Now for support, we take the health. We also give the healing effect increase. Uh, for allies with less than 50% health, healing effect is increased. Uh, when inflicting a layer of buff or debuff, self speed is increased. For heals under, uh, for allies under control effects, healing effect is increased and shield effect, but 
we don't do a shield with a uh, Taff. So a magic attack, the chance to reduce the cooldown of some skills. Uh, for targets with lower speed, effect it is increased and a, a chance to re uh, remove non-controlled debuff from self at random, which can be, you know, it can be handy. It can be handy. So this is the route I go with my emblems. Now for aura, I like to choose the recovery horn aura because obviously, you know, we are only putting on a heal over time. So it's important to have some kind of heal though when we're casting as well. Um, it would be nice if it was upgraded. Yes, it would be very nice if it was upgraded. But other than the recovery horn aura, what route would we go? Well, we'd want to choose the range hit aura for the uh, every enemy increases self-effect up. You could um, you could go to Mastery Surge Aura, giving him support, increasing his mastery and then increasing allies' mastery. Um, is it a hit master? I wouldn't really choose a hit master aura. We can get enough effect hit from from our gear. Um, mastery expert, you could go down this route as well if you really want to push the mastery on your TAF. Um, I think uh, extra recovery. Yeah, hit Grandmaster would be okay, but you, you're not going to want to spend le a Legend on, on Taff. Not with this, you know, he's not going to gain too much from the health. The effect hit, yeah, okay, but uh, Magic Touch could be okay. Advanced hit would be the one you'd want to go for with Taff if he was really going down that route. But he's not like, <laughs> he's not a pure damage, he's a support damage dealer, you know, so you'd not... You're going to want to put this this kind of aura on someone who's really going to be dealing a ton of damage. Um, so that's that for his auras. Now, let's have a look at his equipment. What would we put on him? Now, the game tells you to put on attack and affect it, which, okay, yes, he is a poison damage dealer. However, I like to have a bit of health. I like to have a decent amount of attack, uh, affect it, and mastery, obviously, uh, along with some speed. So it's tricky because... He doesn't really do enough damage to say that he should be set as a damage dealer and build in pure attack, effect hit, mastery. Um, and, you know, I know he has his, his heal kind of thing. You know what? Maybe I'm just building him wrong. However, I like him the way he is built. Um, so I would choose. I I would choose. Uh, yes, okay. Early game, you could go attack percent because he's going to have high survivability there anyway. Um, but later on, you're going to want to go for the speed set, effect hit set. Um, a mastery set. Then you're going to want to look at a feather set, uh, which is always a, a, a nice set there. I know it's more suited towards health burn because it's health and speed, but it's increasing his survivability and it's giving him some speed. But other than that, we want to go, want to go for endurance to health and mastery. Um, and then accuracy is probably the best one for him. Uh, mastery increase and then effect hit increase. This is probably the best set for him. You could go down to first aid, which is speed, effect hit and healing effect. But I would really try and stick with accuracy because that mastery and effect hit can really mean that we can focus on the stats we want to focus on to. Now let me show you what I kind of rolled on my TAF. Um, he's not the best gear by any means. And this is just a box standard speed set here, but we've got mastery and attack rate. So it was, you know, I kind of I had to work with what I have. Um, speed set on his chest piece here. We have mastery, attack rate, and speed rate. A one into health rate, which is okay because it gives him some more survivability. Uh, the boots had effect resistance and affect it, and then a bit of mastery again. The set bonus on this is huge, so I was I had to push into to this. Um, and then the accessory gets crit rate, which is yeah, I know, I know, it's bad. Um, Affect it attack rate. Now, ideally, it would have gone into affect it here, and then we would have rolled later into attack rate. That was my kind of thinking. So, really, do prioritize um, affect it, mastery, attack, and health. You know, speed can be a substat to, to things. Um, on your first artifact, mastery is is ideal with affect it if you can get it. Um, attack rate, uh, health rate, speed again. Uh, affect it for your second artifact with mastery and and the same as what we said before attack rate health rate speed uh, the final piece should always be a speed artifact um, it has two rolls of mastery on it one of attack rate and then one of effect and so this was actually an okay an okay piece um, but I mean it's, it's left me with uh, 484,000 health nearly 32k attack 
1863 uh, speed and 88% uh, affected. I mean, this crit rate and crit damage here. Yeah. Uh, mastery is at 1 to 8, however. Okay, so we've had a look at his stats. We've had a look at his gear. Let's have a little look at him in battle. And Taff is very good in, let's say, um, arena as well. You know, don't don't knock him for arena, especially advanced arena. Taff can become very useful for advanced arena. Let's have a little look at this Zev here. We're going to use a just a random kind of team. Uh, take out, take out, take out, take out. Uh, let's put in. Let's put in Taff. Uh, who could we? Oh, I wish I had a, a Walter built to show you Walter and Taff together. Um, even Wolsey, to be honest. Uh, but a fact here, you know what? Let's bring in um, Agatha and Hoff and see. Yeah, okay. This is it's still gross, I know. But you can see what Taff does, okay? You can show you what Taff does. As soon as we go into battle, we're going to see poisons on the enemy. You see the poisons are there immediately at the beginning of play. Uh, obviously, we're going to silence here uh, and freeze Catherine. Uh, we'll put on some health burns with Hoff. And then it, we, we, we go straight in with his skill 4, which is intertwined and poison AoE. Now, I don't think we need... To, we're not going to put any more health burn on. We have health burn from Hoff. We have poison from Taff. And I think Sigmund will kind of overkill this. So we're just going to put a shield on ourselves and hit... Uh, okay, you can see. Let's just see how much, how much poison is going on. So 121k a tick from, from Taft's poison is nothing to be shy at. You know, it can really bring in a lot of extra that we wouldn't have in our arena team. So if you have Taft and you're not using him, you know, there is, he can be so good for arena, especially the fact Intertwined is on. And if you've got a survival kind of team, you know, they're going to struggle because they're going to be getting stuns in a moment unless they cleanse it. Um, so let's have a little look at... Let's go for a tough one, shall we? Either Cricket or Etro here. We won't go for Cricket because he has Nasil. And Nasil is just RNG right now, especially with my Luna not being... But we'll use the same team again. We'll use the exact same team. Um, this team's a bit stronger. It's 700k. Uh, so it's geared. It has, you know, exclusives, that kind of thing. I mean, Asindo really does make a difference here. I know that. Oh, wow. Okay, Catherine did not get frozen. That could be an issue. So there's the poisons. We're going to have to... Okay. Agatha goes in there. And you can... I mean, <laughs> that's just poison and health burn there. Obviously, Agatha had a swing as well. But it's taken down a lot. The share between poison and health burn. Now, we are going to just throw a health burn from Sigmund on as well, just to finish this off. But you think, I think Hoff's, Hoff's health burn is doing 99k, and Poison there did 217k, I don't know if you've seen that. Okay, I feel like you're showing a little bit there. Advanced Arena, he's fantastic in, because we have less options to build teams with, and it just shows Taff's worth. You'll see the top players using Taff, especially Bailey loves Taff. Uh, I love Taff since Beta as well. Um, so, you know, he is fantastic. Now, let's have a little look in Dungeons. I mean, Tower of Mark, he was great for me in Green Mark. He helped me obtain the win here. However, I did only get two stars. I still need to work towards his third star. Um, it was Elik, Taff, Hizonia, uh, Space, and um, Maeve. You know, this is the only thing here, really, that people rated was um, Hizonia, right? You know, other heroes, Taff, Elik, Space, and uh, Maeve, they was not huge, huge heroes. Well, so we was saying, I do have the option of Slavelle here as well, but I choose Maeve because... She, she slows the boss, but we're not talking about that here. I apologize. Uh, Dwarven Ruins. Taff will help in Dwarven Ruins. You can use you can use him in, in teams here. You know, let's go into... Oh, all right, we're going to stage 30 a moment. Uh, let's have a little look. Now, let's say take out... Let's take out Luna. Oh, this may be a loss, to be honest, because it's um, not the kind of team I would use here. Losing Luna can be 
Mm, we'll see. We'll see. But we're, we're going to have to manual it quickly. Uh, we'll see the kind of damage his poison is doing, especially on the waves. You know, it can be great for wave clearing because we, we come in, we have one layer of poison everywhere. And then this wave here, we you know, there's more there already. We have counter attack up, so we have no need, no need to use any of our health burns because everything will be dead. I mean, it's <laughs> poison and health burn can really work together if you have Taff because he brings more to the table than just poison. He brings some support as well. Um, he brings some crowd control with the stun. So if we have, you know, a team that can survive for a while, it can be very, very useful. And we do need to health burn this one, which is a shame because we kind of come into the final fight without that. Um, I should have done that on the first, but it's because I had auto on. He'd already casted the, the counter attack. It's not the end of the world. Um, Nascarma is an issue. He's going to steal everything. He's going to steal everything. So we're just going to put consolidation on for now. Oh, God. All right, give him. He can take the shield. We need to. We need to soak that one up. Now we can put a heal on. We can cleanse as well. Uh, it's going with the health burns. Oh goodness! Okay, Taft's dead. The hill wasn't enough. The hill. <laughs> Mayday! Mayday! Okay, just while we're here, just while we're here, can we? Uh, can we take down the? But no, we can't. It all went peak Tom, and that's because we took out Luna. Uh, maybe I, yeah, should have thought about that one a bit more. But I did say it was risky coming into stage thirty. I did say it was risky coming into stage thirty without a solid plan. If I'd have started it, wait, you know what? One more time, guys. One more time. We're not going to use our counter attack here, okay? Um, we're gonna. We're not even going to use our. Poison. This this will be a better showcase. Actually, this will be a better showcase for him. Hopefully, we get to see his stun here. So the second wave here. All right, we're going to use counter attack now. Um, we're going to put on some other buffs. Now we're going to throw on poison, and then we're going to use counter attacks with our health burners in between. And we can see the damage from the just the the poisons here. I know two two layers of <laughs> health burner did like three hundred k. But it's really helping hugely. And don't forget, the next turn after this, they would be stunned. They would be stunned from Intertwined. Now, hopefully, we come in with our stuff ready. We can just use that one. No feebleness landed. We need to throw on our shield. Are we going to be fast enough? No, we're not. What a terrible showcase, right, guys? What a terrible showcase. What a terrible, terrible showcase. But I, it is stage 30. That's all I'm going to say. Right, we're going to head to campaign for the last showcase. Don't forget as well, Faction Abyss Taff can be very, very good to help our team through that. We're going to show you campaign now. Um, how we can be in campaign. It's going to be very similar to um, pretty much the other showcases that we do. We're going to throw in Taff and Catherine alone, actually. Taff and Catherine alone. And we'll see how long this takes. Um, they should they should both survive. Hoping so. So this is how campaign 12 turn. Uh, we come in with the poison there initially. Then we've got the intertwined and poison on top. You can see that it's a ton of damage already done. Catherine's taking a beating. You know, the nice thing about Catherine with Taff is that the basic attack grants us uh, deep poison as well. That's so nice. It's like, here, take 25% extra damage.
There's the AOE we've intertwined as well, which means that we're clear of this stage now onto the boss. So let's have a look at how long it takes to kill the boss with just Poison and Catherine. Uh, remember the boss will strip our buffs, there we go. I've been doing everything here. Wouldn't it be great if you could stun him? So annoying now. Right, two layers of poison on him now. It's doing 140k a tick. I mean, it's not huge, but if you had a full team here with other poisoners as well, it can really utilize Taff. Or if you had other kind of damage as well, it's extra damage on a top layer. It's taking a while. Yeah, with Taff, you can use the likes of Welter, Turf, Wolsey, um, Melassa, I think, as well. Um, and they just they just really work well together, especially with Wolsey, because you're getting the heals from a certain amount of poisons on the enemy. Wolter is AoE exploding poison, and Turf is just Turf um, with his sing. He's like a single target of the poison world. All right, guys, so that is a little showcase on Taff. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, look more into Taff and think, well, maybe he's going to fit into my team. So I'm Kazan Thank you for watching. Take care.